The wreck of the freighter Edmund Fitzgerald, one of the most famous shipwrecks in American history, was wrecked on November 10, 1975, in Lake Superior. The ship was immortalized in a folk song by Gordon Lightfoot released in 1976, a few months after the ship sank. The six-minute song details the ship's final moments. The cargo ship sank due to strong winds and giant waves, killing all 29 people on board. An attempt to recover the bell resulted in video footage of a shipwreck lying in the depths of Lake Superior. The Edmund Fitzgerald was named after the president and chairman of Northwestern Mutual and was the largest ship on the Great Lakes at the time. The cargo ship is said to have been the largest bulk carrier in the entire region. Launched in 1958, she remained the largest ship on the Great Lakes until 1971. It was 729 feet long and weighed approximately 13,632 gross tons. The cargo ship was traveling between Silver Bay, Minnesota, and the Lower Lakes in the Detroit and Toledo areas. On November 9, 1975, at 2.30 p.m., a cargo ship departed Superior, Wisconsin, with a cargo of over 25,000 tons of taconite granules. He was heading to Zug Island in Detroit. When the ship set out, the weather was unfavorable. Consequently, Captain Ernest M. McSorley chose the northern route through Lake Superior. He thought that the Canadian coast would protect the ship from strong winds. However, the next day the weather worsened, with winds reaching 50 knots and waves reaching 16 feet. The captain reported damage at 1530 on November 10, stating that the vents were damaged. He also contacted Captain Bernie Cooper of the Arthur M. Anderson, which left two harbors, Minnesota, on November 9 and was in radio contact with the Fitzgerald. Anderson's crew kept a close eye on the radar to track Fitzgerald's path. However, bad weather made their task difficult. At about 1910, Fitzgerald contacted Anderson for the last time, after which the latter simply disappeared from radar after five minutes. All 29 people were killed, and Anderson's crew later found two of Fitzgerald's lifeboats in the water. A few days after the hurricane, the Coast Guard searched for the missing ship and discovered its wreck, However, it was not Fitzgerald. The following year, authorities confirmed they had found the ship's stern 535 feet below the lake's surface, saying Fitzgerald was in the worst possible place at the worst possible time. Every November, the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum holds an annual memorial service to honor those lost when this mighty freighter sank in Lake Superior.